This year, we're bringing app development with Swift UI to iPad in Swift Playgrounds. It's so much fun, and Matt will show you all about how it works. You know Swift Playgrounds provides a great way to learn how to code, and it's been used by millions of people to expand their knowledge of Swift. And beyond being a great way to learn, we know a lot of you already use Swift Playgrounds to experiment, sketching out new ideas and playing with the latest features in the iPadOS SDK. This year, Swift Playgrounds 4 is taking a huge step forward by allowing you to build apps and even submit them to the App Store right from your iPad. With the ability to create apps on iPad, you can be more productive in Swift Playgrounds than ever before, allowing you to work on your ideas wherever you go on whichever device you prefer. And with a new package-based project format, you can seamlessly bring your work between Swift Playgrounds and Xcode. Let's dive in and take a look. This is Swift Playgrounds 4. It's got all of the great learn to code content that's helped inspire new developers around the world. And now you can create projects that let you build Swift UI apps. Let's make a new one now and see what we can build. I'll open the new project I created. In an app project in Swift Playgrounds, my code is on the left, and the result of my work is on the right, just like I'm used to. What's new is deeply integrated support for Swift UI with live, interactive previews powered by the same technology used in Xcode. My new project template comes with a Hello World placeholder, which I can easily replace with a text view of my own. I'll start typing text, and right away, I get helpful suggestions from code completion, which new in this release appears right below my insertion point. I'll accept the completion and write my own hello message. While I'm typing, my app updates live to show my changes with each keystroke. Now, let's have a little fun. I'm going to replace this static text with a button. I'll select my text view and then add a button from the library. Here in the library, I can browse and search through assets in my project, as well as the Swift UI views, modifiers, colors, and SF symbols provided by iPadOS. For now, I'll just add my button. I'm going to fill the action in with a simple print statement. For the body, I'll use a label with a system image. The text will be say hello, and the image will be the SF symbol for Swift. I've now got an interactive button in my app. When I tap it, the print message I wrote appears as a message bubble at the bottom of my screen. If I open the console, I can see a history of print statements that have been executed since I opened this project, and it updates in real time as I interact with my app. Now, this button is purple because that's my app's accent color, which Swift Playgrounds chose for me when I created my project. If I open the document sidebar, I can access all of my app's top-level settings, like its name, accent color, and icon. As much as I do love purple, I think this smiley face will look big and bright and orange. So I'll change my accent color here, and both my app's icon and the tint color of the button I just made will update to reflect the change. This has been really fun, but Swift Playgrounds isn't just for experimentation. I've got another app that I've been working on for a while. I use this app to track the amount of time I spend on my favorite hobbies, and I think others might find it useful as well. I can get a feel for what the installed app would look like by taking it full screen. Now I can explore my app in its full width two or three column layout. I can jump out of full screen and return to my code whenever I like. This feels great, and I think my hard work is ready to share with my friends and family with Test Flight. Anyone with a developer account can upload their apps from the app settings area once they're ready for App Store Connect. When I tap the upload button, Swift Playgrounds builds, packages, and uploads my app. I can then hop over to the App Store Connect website and make my app available via test flight. And when it's ready, submit it to the App Store and share it with the world. And that's a quick look at Swift Playgrounds 4, with the ability to create apps using Swift UI right on your iPad. Swift Playgrounds 4 will be available later this year. We know you're going to love having the freedom to develop your app ideas wherever you go on whichever device you prefer.